In the Star Wars canon guidebook titled The Lightsaber Collection, more details about Rey's new lightsaber and Dark Rey's double-bladed lightsaber are revealed. The page about Rey's Skywalker's lightsaber reads, After defeating the Spectre of the Sith at Exegol, Rey journeys to the desert to Tatooine to bury the lightsabers once carried by Leia Organa and Luke Skywalker. After completing this ritual, Rey reveals a lightsaber, lightsaber of her own design, and announces her intention to carry on the Jedi legacy as Rey Skywalker. Rey builds her new lightsaber using pieces from a familiar weapon, the quarterstaff she carried while living as a junk scavenger on Jakku. The staff, which Rey carried slung across her back while not in use, acts as, a, as an effective deterrent against wild animals and loot thieves until Rey diversified her stock of weapons by adding a lightsaber in The Last Jedi. The blocky shape of the end of the quarterstaff is replicated in the saber hilt, which uses rotating gears to activate the blade instead of an ignition switch. Its heavy, chunky exterior armor makes it resistant to impact and wear and tear. In the movie, Rey's lightsaber projects a yellow blade. Although this is a first for live-action Star Wars, the Jedi Temple Guards wield the yellow blades in Star Wars animation. In a similar manner, the page of Dark Rey's lightsaber reads, Rey grew up thinking of herself as nobody special, but Star Wars Episode Nine: The Rise of Skywalker upends those assumptions by revealing her true heritage as the granddaughter of Emperor Palpatine. Discovering her connection to the galaxy's most powerful Sith Lord gives Rey a crisis of faith. Forthing, forcing her to grapple with the question of whether she is fated to follow a similar dark path. The most dramatic expression of Rey's inner conflict comes during her exploration of the Death Star's wreckage and manifests as a cracked mirror duplicate of herself as an agent of evil. This dark side phantasm carries a double-plated crimson lightsaber equipped with a unique swing hinge. The metallic's hilt's silver sheen is discolored by carbonized blackening around the emitter shrouds. Black rings break up the hilt's uneven surface. When folded in half, both blades can be ignited in parallel, and with the flick of a wrist, the hilts can swing fully open and lock into place as a saber staff. While there aren't many new details, the passages describe the design of two lightsabers that appeared only briefly in the Skywalker Saga conclusion. Although not discussed in the passage, both lightsabers were based on previous weapon designs. Rey's yellow-bladed lightsaber was built from the end of her staff used during her time on Jakku, and Dark Rey's double-bladed lightsaber was, had a similar design to that of the saber being designed by Rey and John Kloss after the, the description of the Skywalker lightsaber. Make sure to like, subscribe, follow me on social media, and comment down below what content you'd like to see in the future. As always, thank you all for watching, and remember... The Force will be with you, always.